Welcome to the Automated Daily Hacker News Edition, the podcast created by Generative AI. Now, we're not just delivering the news, we're empowering you to become a storyteller. Create your own podcast using your hand-picked list of sources. Sound interesting? Email us, info at theautomateddaily.com. Today is November 24th, 2024. Let's dive into today's stories, starting with a fascinating tutorial on creating a frosted glass effect in HTML. Inspired by the sleek design elements of AAA games like Forza Horizon 3, this guide from Telio.com walks you through using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to achieve a stunning translucent glass look. Key techniques include the backdrop filter property for Gaussian blur, adding depth with box shadows, and even advanced tricks like subsurface scattering. It's a must read for web developers eager to add a touch of elegance to their designs. Next, we turn to a groundbreaking archeological discovery in Syria. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University have unearthed what could be the oldest known examples of alphabetic writing, dating back to 2400 BCE. This find made at Tel Um El Mara challenges previous theories about the origins of the alphabet, suggesting it may have developed 500 years earlier than thought. The discovery includes clay cylinders with alphabetic text, offering new insights into ancient communication practices. In the realm of energy, we revisit the 2000 California rolling blackouts, a crisis sparked by economic manipulation in a deregulated electricity market. This event underscored the complexities of the electricity grid, where power must be generated on demand. The article explains the intricacies of trading electricity in deregulated markets, highlighting the importance of economic dispatch and the role of capacity markets in maintaining grid stability. Switching gears to workplace dynamics, West Cow's newsletter offers advice on giving feedback to senior leaders without risking your job. Cow suggests self-reflection and a respectful approach, using techniques like the even more method to frame feedback positively. The goal is to foster productive dialogue while respecting the leader's position. In a delightful historical find, engineers refurbishing the Corswall Lighthouse in Scotland discovered a 132-year-old message in a bottle. The note, dated September 4, 1892, lists the lighthouse keepers of the time, adding a personal touch to the lighthouse's storied past. The contents remain a mystery, sparking playful speculation among the team. The European Space Agency has released stunning high-resolution images of the sun, captured by the Solar Orbiter spacecraft. These images, taken from less than 46 million miles away, reveal intricate details of the sun's surface, including sunspots. This mission, a collaboration with NASA, continues to enhance our understanding of the sun's dynamic nature. In tech hiring news, Giga, a Y Combinator-backed startup, is looking for a logistics operations coordinator. This remote role emphasizes a culture of trust and open communication with responsibilities including tracking shipments and solving logistics issues. Giga offers a flexible work environment and encourages candidates to share a personal touch in their applications. A blog post delves into the discovery of antenna diodes in the original Pentium processor, designed to protect against the antenna effect during manufacturing. These diodes prevent damage to the chip's transistors, highlighting ongoing challenges in modern integrated circuits. jQuery UI has released version 1.114, featuring updates compatible with the latest jQuery versions and dropping support for older browsers like Internet Explorer. This release focuses on flexibility and ease of use, with resources available for developers to get started. Voyage AI has launched two new embedding models, Voyage 3 and Voyage 3 Lite, offering improved retrieval quality at reduced costs. These models outperform OpenAI's offerings in various domains and are available through the Voyage API, with the first 200 million tokens free. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcanic eruption in January 2022 severed Tonga's only undersea telecommunications cable, isolating the nation. This incident highlights the vulnerability of undersea cables which carry the majority of global data. Experts call for redundancy in telecommunications infrastructure to prevent future isolation. Deegan introduces a meta-compiler that simplifies creating high-performance, JIT-capable virtual machines for dynamic languages. This tool automates the generation of both a JIT compiler and an interpreter, significantly reducing the engineering effort required. 
Deegan's innovations promise competitive performance with minimal startup delay. Finally, the Apache NUTX RTOS team has implemented a CI dashboard using Prometheus and Grafana. This tool monitors daily builds, providing insights into build status and helping identify breaking commits. The dashboard is a valuable resource for improving the CI process and engaging the community in NUTX development. That's all for today's episode of the Automated Daily Hacker News Edition. Remember, you can find links to all the stories we covered in the episode notes. If you have any feedback or want to create your own podcast, reach out to us at info at Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.